50 years on, some of the original Pride Marchers remembering the fire in their bellies that changed the world. It was exhilarating, it was empowering. We thought we could take over the world and change it to um, how we feel. It was about not letting anyone tell you who you are or what you should do. It was about autonomy, it was about freedom, and it was about joy. There hadn't been a lot of joy for Britain's gay community back in 1972. Homosexuality had only just been decriminalised five years before, but the battle for acceptance for hearts and minds was only just beginning. And we marched up Charing Cross Road, we marched along Oxford Street, ending up at uh, Speaker's Corner, uh, heavily guarded by the police who looked, um, they weren't rude, but they looked distinctly uncomfortable. So us all kissing one another and knew that probably we were committing some sort of criminal offence, but they didn't quite know what to do, so eventually they gave up and went away. Those who were at the first Pride March were fighting for their freedoms, their rights, their lives. I simply wanted not to be a criminal. <laughs> I thought it was outrageous that I'd had to grow up like all my friends under the shadow um, of the law. But some people spat, some people shouted, most people were kind of astonished, I think, and bewildered. <laughs> some people just looked the other way. Over the years, looking the other way became less of an option. Pride morphed into something altogether more brash, more bold, more in your face. Today's pride, replicated in nearly every city on earth, is almost unrecognisable from that early march. But then so is the world. Now, here in the UK at least, gay people can marry, adopt children, freedoms those early campaigners never thought they could achieve. Gay rights activist Peter Tatchell was there at the beginning. Does he think, with fewer wars to wage, pride has somehow lost its bite? We are very unhappy at the way in which Pride has become over-corporate and commercialised, that it's now become basically just a big party. And parties are fine, but we also need to protest because there's still unfinished business. There are still battles for our community to fight and win. Battles like Jowards. He fled Lebanon for fear of being arrested just for being gay. For many people it may be just a march, but for me it means much more. It means that I can just walk safely in a place and talk about my problems, talk about my rights, you know, and um, just also like embrace my, my sexuality or orientation. The battles continue and the celebrations too. Party, protest, parade, whatever Pride is in 2022, it means as much to some people today as it did 50 years ago. Jeff Moody, GB News.